105 Network. This is the plus side of Nashville. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Tawanda Coleman. You know, autism is the fastest growing developmental disability. Prevalence in the United States estimated it to be one in 68 births. There is no known cure, but there are services out there to help. We'll talk about some of those services as well as treatment options from experts from the Autism Education and Therapy Center later in the show. But we're starting things off by celebrating a medical facility that has a rich, long history of providing high quality, affordable care for folks all across Middle Tennessee. The Matthew Walker Comprehensive Health Center turns 50 this year. And here to tell us more and to celebrate with us is Katina Beard, who is the center's chief executive officer. Welcome. Thank you. And congratulations on 50 years. Thank you. That's yeah. very, very impressive. Thank you. So the Matthew Walker Comprehensive Health Care Center, a lot of people who may be new to Nashville, mm -hmm. as we know, 100 people are moving <laughs> in every day, as they say. Mm -hmm. Some people may not be aware of the long history that goes back in mm -hmm. those 50 years. Mm -hmm. Talk mm -hmm. about Matthew Walker, who he was, okay. and why this healthcare facility, facility was so important mm -hmm. to him. So Dr. Walker was a renowned surgeon that practiced at Meharry Medical College. He traveled to Mount Bayou, Mississippi uh, during those times to help train other African-American doctors because at that time there was still very heavy segregation and so they couldn't be trained everywhere. And so he took time out of his schedule, his personal life to travel back and forth to Mississippi between Mississippi and Tennessee. And it was there that he saw the very first community health center founded in Mount Bayou, Mississippi. And he saw what that transformed that community into, into having a place that was there to support their health, to support them in their economic growth by providing employment, providing a place to educate and train medical students and residents. And so he saw that as an opportunity for Nashville and he brought that concept back here to Nashville. And so we were initially the Meharry Neighborhood Clinic and in 1977 or six, I believe, we renamed the center, the Dr. Matthew Walker Health Center uh, in honor of Dr. Walker and the work that he did to make sure that the health center was established here. Awesome. So now, a lot of folks uh, may not be aware. They hear um, that, of course, you do provide, uh, uh, you know, services to mm -hmm. the underinsured mm -hmm. and the uninsured. Mm -hmm. But you're a comprehensive, and everybody mm -hmm. who needs a doctor, anybody who needs a doctor, can mm -hmm. come there. You provide medical and dental. We do. We provide medical services for the entire family, and so from the babies all the way through to adults, including women who are expecting babies. We have a dental program, and we do just about everything except sedation and so uh -huh. you can come there and get your teeth cleaned you yeah. can get a filling extraction you can get other restorative work done in our Nashville location we also have a radiology center and so we are able to do plain film radiology we have a mammography unit and so we do mammograms we have laboratory on site we have our own pharmacy we have a nutrition program, we have health education programs. So we have an array yes. of services. And so what makes our model unique uh, for everyone, including individuals with insurance, is that you're able to come there and get all of that done under one roof at one time. And so, you know, in yeah. the other parts of the healthcare system, you'd have to go to your doctor, then you'd have to go to another place for probably to see the nutritionist, and then you'd have to go to another place to get your mammogram done. We do all of that yeah. under our one roof in Nashville. How many patients would you say that you see in a year, Katina? About 17,000. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 17,000. That mm -hmm. is a lot. Yeah. It is. Well, you were talking about some of your, your programs, and I know mm -hmm. you really believe in uh, preventative medicine mm -hmm. uh, at the center, and, and you have a large diabetes education program mm -hmm. that I think is so important mm -hmm. um, for folks to know about because diabetes is one of those conditions that can lead to so many others. Right. Talk a little bit about that program. Right. So we are focused on preventing individuals before they are actually diagnosed with diabetes through education from our nutritionists, helping them understand how physical activity impacts their weight and their health mm -hmm. and uh, making sure that individuals are seen on a regular basis. For those individuals who are actually diagnosed with diabetes, 
we have an education program called the Dial Down Diabetes Program. It meets monthly and it provides an opportunity for individuals to come to learn how to make healthier recipes, just to have fellowship with others, just to have understanding because we learn best from our peers. Yeah, we learn best we from do. each other. And so it's not just focused with a physician standing there kind of telling you what to do, but it's sharing lifestyles and understanding from other peers how to eat healthy. We do have professionals come in to talk about warning signs and so we want people to be aware of their extremities and you know, how to take care of their feet and their hands and their eyes and so all of that and then for individuals uh, who are what we consider out of control with their diabetes we want them to come back regularly and have their lab work done we want them to see their provider more often so that we can get them in a range of being controlled. So we, we are working on that whole process between being pre-diabetic all the way through being diagnosed with diabetes and preventing those other um, extreme conditions that come from being diagnosed right. with diabetes. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you also provide a, a, for folks, women may, who may need a mammogram. Absolutely. That's one of the programs that we are most proud of. It's called the Screening for Life Program, and we launched it in October in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness yes. Month. We provide free mammograms to the women in the community. We're also a partner with the Tennessee Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program. And so all year, women who are eligible under those guidelines can receive a free mammogram and a free cervical cancer screening. Oh, cervical cancer screening too? Absolutely. And so we are proud to be a partner under that program. And we encourage women all year long, not to just wait until October, but all year to, um, to come in and get screened for that program so that they can receive a mammogram. That is wonderful. I mm -hmm. really appreciate the, the, that the work that you're doing. That. What about? Do you also do HIV and? Um, so we have a, a new program. We have a Ryan White case manager mm -hmm. on staff who is working with people who are living with HIV or AIDS, making sure that they stay connected to the healthcare uh, system. We want people to understand that we are there to serve them, also to serve the entire population yes. and community. And so sometimes people, you know, we kind of push them out or they yeah. feel excluded and so we have a case manager that's in our in our center that's going out into the community making sure that people stay connected to the health system. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well as you're celebrating your big 50th this year I know you have several things planned throughout the year mm -hmm. um, that the community's invited to. Mm -hmm. What's going to be your first upcoming event? So the very very first event that we're having is our Red and White Affair which is February 9th okay. and it's for our seniors in our community. Tickets are two dollars I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. It always sells out every it year. It does. Yes, it's at the North National Precinct this year. It's from 2 to 4. And it's what we consider our Valentine's Day ball prom for our seniors. They come out, they have a lunch, and they dance all afternoon. <laughs> and it is the best event that we that have all year. so much fun. Yeah, so that's how we're going to launch it off. And then in March, we'll have a tea and conversations that's going to be hosted by one of our partners in March. April, we're having a breakfast in honor of Dr. Walker. Oh, nice. Uh, the physician, the teacher, the servant. And yes. so that will be um, in April. And so we'll have all these dates posted up on okay. our website of the actual dates. And then we'll kind of keep going through the year and we'll have our annual pancake breakfast and block party in August. In September, we're having a great big music event. Is that uh, going to be the culmination? That's going to be the culmination of uh, of the year. And that's so we, we have things planned all year. And so we're excited about this year. And we really want the entire community to come out and celebrate with us as we honor Dr. Walker and his vision and his work. And we celebrate the work that the Health Center has been able to continue to do over the 50 years with the support of the community. Because yeah. it's only been because the community has supported us all these years that yes. we've been able to continue the work we do. Well, I know you're trying to grow and expand. I know yeah. you, you have outreach where you, you're in two, you got two other locations. We, do. we have a location in Clarksville at 230 Dover Road, and then we have our location in Smyrna at 739 President's Place. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, now, one of the things I think that we have to touch on, too, because you cover so many areas, and one that you said is relatively new that I think is so important. Um, you have a food pantry. We do. We do. We have a food pantry that is in partnership with Second Harvest. We have it inside our building. And it's for our patients who, there are various reasons. So we may have a patient who's a diabetic yeah. who just needs to know how to shop and experience new foods. And so they can do that without any kind of exposure to them, you know, any financial risk to them. Okay. And they can come in. And our, our registered dietitian will help them understand the food that's in the bank and how that helps them overall. For our diabetic patients, our hypertension patients, those patients. Um, the other patients are our patients that are overweight, 
Mm. Maybe not diagnosed with anything, but you know, mm -hmm. just overweight and we need to have a different diet. And so our registered dietitian will be there for that too. But then we also have patients that are underweight and people don't always think of nutrition no. in that way. But we also have patients, elderly patients, children that are underweight because they yeah. can't afford food, don't know what food, to purchase, they don't know what fiber rich foods are. They don't want to take the risk, the financial risk of trying new foods. And so our food bank is there for them too. And you've got a registered dietitian we right do. there on staff that can right help there. any of those issues. Mm -hmm. I just think that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, if anybody has any questions about all those various programs we just talked about mm -hmm. or any of your upcoming celebration mm -hmm. uh, programs, what's your website? It is mwchc.org. Okay. Well, we hope that we'll be seeing you around for many, many 50 years to come. Oh, so. Many, many hundreds of years to come. Thank you for the great work that Thank you, you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, the need to accommodate more families affected by autism has prompted a local facility to grow. Find out more when we come back.